What's up guys, Prometheus here, and today we'll be doing a tutorial on HitFilm Pro, but this will work on HitFilm Express, so don't you worry. Um, I'm already doing a project, so I figured I'd make one, um, a Twitch call to action, so we're going to try that. We're in our composite shot right now. I'm going to go and click the options tab and the checkerboard background, make sure to get rid of that. Now we want to import a Twitch logo which I think I have one somewhere uh, right there. Yep. I'm going to drag it into the composite. And of course we want it to be not so big. We're going to scale it down. All preference, by the way, we're going to click left click and hold this eclipse. And uh, we're going to do rounded rectangle mask. I'm going to just round the corners off a little bit. Uh, and then position it right okay it looks pretty good boom all right now we're going to import another give me an idea let's we'll scroll down here uh actually go to my desktop here and, and import this one all right we got that one down we'll bring it on above and that's me unfortunately <laughs> we'll uh scale this down it's weird having pictures so. Basically, we're going to go to the controls tab and uh, lower the opacity right here. That way we can kind of size it up as best as we can. A little wider position like that. That's pretty good. And then we want to go ahead and click the rectangle the mask here. And then again, we want it the same, about the same size as best as we can. Uh, let's go ahead and click the uh, pointer here and bring it out just a tad. I think that's going to work. Change the opacity to back to 100. And then we're just going to drop it below here. Perfect. Now I think what we're going to do is create a new plane. Uh, white. Actually, you know what? I think it might be best if we cancel this. Go to a new composite shot, bingo. Checkerboard background like we did before. Create a new plane. Go ahead and pick this color right here. And then, we're, but we're gonna do yellow, the white first, yellow. It's pretty uh, late. All right, that looks good. I'll do another one. Just in here. Uh, that's good right there. So now we're going to do here in this second mask, you can see we're going to click the uh, minus, I mean the subtract, and it's going to look like that. And then this right here, we might want to size it up just a bit. Uh, nope. Right there. Maybe a little smaller. Bingo. And then uh, we'll create another composite shot. Same thing. Boom, and then the layer would be a new plane. We'll go back to that purple. Uh, purple. Actually, cancel. We want to get the. We're trying to get the same color as this right here, the Twitch logo. So plane. Just wanted to make sure we do get the right one. So, oh, we'll add the new plane. Properties. Oh, we can't get it now. Hold on, cancel. <laughs> there we go. Bring it back. Click. You want to left click and drag over here so that way you can get the right color semi matching, you know. I'm going to left click this and get the rounded mask. Uh, make it a little smaller. Boom. And then that sounds good. We're going to go back to the original composite shot too. And then we're going to drag on these composite shots we just made. Uh, composite shot three. I'm gonna left click on the little, our little pointer there, and we're gonna shrink it about like that. We'll put it behind here, just like that, and then we're gonna bring in composite shot four. Normally you label this, but uh, yeah, <laughs> bring in composite shot four above three and then we're going to size this as well a 
nice and uh we're gonna bring that over uh Oh, that looks pretty good. All right, uh, I wanna, we can add a little extra something here. We'll draw go to the effects tab and search drop shadow. Click and drag it onto the Twitch logo. And then click this drop down and make the opacity a little bit bigger. All right, and let's see. Um, from now from here, Twitch logo, we want to kind of uh, get inside and go to the transform and kind of just keyframe the opacity pretty much, you know. We're gonna go key over probably about right here maybe and click right here. It's gonna start a keyframe for us and then we're gonna go back this way over here and then just uh go to zero go to zero and we're gonna highlight this and click uh, convert to smooth so in theory it should go like this and kind of fade and boom there you go and boom so now for here though what we're gonna end up doing it's taken, uh, we're gonna highlight the composite shot four, which this should be the, right there, the purple rectangle. We're gonna just get our free masking tool right here. Boom, just around the purple, boom. Now from here, we're gonna end up doing is keyframing the a mask pretty much and so that way it moves we're gonna click this invert so it's already gone pretty much and then actually I don't know when we want to start it this sounds we can start it right here all preference though just gives you an idea so also you want to make sure you go back to this pointer we're gonna keyframe the position and then maybe right here we'll, we'll move this to the side pretty much and then highlight both of these and convert to smooth so let's just play it again boom i mean we can also move it forward or back it depends so we'll just, you might have to play with it for a little bit i like that and then we're going to see if we can go to our mask right here, right click and copy. And then from here, we're going to go over here from the composite shot three, which is the right there, white we'll click, drop down mass, highlight the mass, right click and paste and see how that does us right there. Let's see. We're playing it. Boom. All right, now from there, we're not done yet. Uh, we can, we want to um, is give this some text to it that way, our username and stuff like that. We're gonna go to the tabs up here with the text and bring it up a little bit. Probably bring it down over here. And we're gonna type in our our username pretty much there we go we're gonna slide it over here probably boom we might need a switch let's go ahead and see how it looks yep we need to make it smaller that's okay we're gonna go to a control tab and uh, scale it down just fit right in here And scale it down a little bit more, probably. That's good, right there. And then, um, I want to see if we can maybe utilize the, um, or make our, we can make our own mass, that's fine. 
So we're going to go ahead and make sure this uh, new text is highlighted. Click our free masking tool. Go right here and max around the text. And then of course we're going to keyframe this. So go, we are already got the mask highlighted and we're going to click invert and then go down here. Keyframe the path, the position of it. So make sure this pointers again, do that. And then we're going to keep pressing period until we get what we need. we're going to start, start position right here. All right, then we're going to go period. And then we're just going to keep each frame. We're just going to go. So go back. Control Z. And then keyframe once. Move this. And then keyframe again. And again. And again. Boom, and then we're done. We'll go highlight all this, convert to smooth. Try this. Boom, works pretty good. Now we should probably maybe do something else. Uh, you got our Twitch and stuff. Maybe we can do a bell and a heart if we have it. Let's go to Metis tab and import and let's, Let's go to uh, let's type in heart. I don't think I think I have one, but I could be wrong. Yes, we do have one. Let's import that one, and then we're gonna boop boop and drag it on. Obviously, we gotta scale it down. <laughs> scale it down, scale it down. I think we might need to make it gray. I'm not sure gray would work. I say, uh, what do you? We can't make it purple because it'll go like there. So fix tab, we're gonna fill color. Uh, color. And then click and drag onto the heart right there. And that's sort of by default, I'll make it white, which is uh, fine. It's all preference though. Uh, we can make it a different shade of purple, but I don't know if that's gonna work very well. Uh, we can also do the gray. We'll just white and just bring it down a little bit gray and then go back to the media tab and then import we'll import uh, a bell or something uh, bell so this one's not exactly right so what we need to do here is we'll go ahead and drag it into a composite shot go to the effects tab and luminous Key. We're gonna get rid of all this. this is not really check board background. This key boom. We're gonna uh, type in. We're gonna select key out brighter, and it'll go away. Let's go back to this tab. The uh, composite shot two. We'll bring in our composite with the bell. Drag that in, and just place it in there. Scale it down. We might have too much going on here, but now I think seeing that the different shades of gray are a little different. We can go back to this heart and um, go in the fill color and boom. Oh, and we'll make it the gray. Boom. So now they match. So, but we also got this problem right here. We'll just have to once again, keyframe. It's so that way it kind of appears, you know, when we want it to. So let's make sure the heart's selected. Uh, box out the heart. Boom. Once again, keyframing. We'll make sure we invert. Keyframe, we start right there, why not? Make sure the uh, arrow's picked. All right, uh, keyframe.
Mm, boom. There we go. That's fine. And then same thing with the bell here. All right, positioning the, uh, the mask for the getting ready to keyframe the mask for the bell. We'll go over. We started our keyframe over a couple frames. Ready to move it over again. Boom. And then let's see how that works. Pretty smooth. Boom, there you have it guys. And then you can also do, when we go back to, add the push effect if you want. Go ahead and like for this example, we'll use my video that I'm editing right now. Uh, we'll bring the Kabata shot in now. That we just did. We'll go to the effects tab. Click push. That way it gets that little, uh, we'll push up and motion blur. And then same thing at the end of it. Push down, motion blur. So we'll uh, mute this part. And then that way you can kind of see. And you can speed it up, slow it down, however fast you want. It's all preference. So I would normally be, we'll cut it. It's a little too long, but we'll cut it right there. Maybe slice it and delete. And then we'll just go back and just add the push at the end, push down motion blur. And we'll try it one more time. Boom. And we did it. Nicely done, didn't I think so? I think it came out pretty good. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you found this helpful. And I'll see you guys next time. Happy editing.